what is going on guys boy trends back a video and in this video well it's on me different i never have made a video about this kind of stuff before but hey we're going to try it out see how it goes this video may get 30 views may get 500,000. i have no idea but hey we're going to try something new here see how it goes so this is my reaction to the famous country singer morgan wallen canceling tonight's concert now for those who don't know this weekend in Ontario, Mississippi, and at Ole Miss, this is a huge weekend. So, yeah, first of all, you had the famous country singer, Morgan Wallen, in town. Also, his good friend, another singer, Hardy, also in town as well, too. This weekend, as well, too, in college baseball, you have Ole Miss and number one LSU in town. Now, yeah, LSU swept Ole Miss this weekend. But anyway, going back to the concert. And, you know, this concert, it's been playing now for a long time. You know, Morgan Wallen announced his concert back back in the summer, back in the fall. Don't know exactly. But anyway, this concert, you know, this whole entire weekend, it's been playing now for several, several, several months now. So, this is a two-day concert. Now, last night, which was Saturday night, was first night of the concert. No, many people that went, and from what I heard, you know, it was an awesome concert. Everybody had fun, great time at the concert. And then tonight, night two of the concert. Now, once again, in this concert, you have Morgan Wallen, but you also have Hardy as well, too. Now, Hardy is actually from Mississippi, but this is kind of funny to me as an Ole Miss fan. Now, for those who don't know, Hardy is actually a state fan. Hardy is actually a state fan performing at the Ole Miss football stadium, which I think is kind of pretty funny to me. But anyway, going back to this concert cancellation stuff. So, so yeah, Hardy has the, like the opening act for the first couple hours or so. So tonight... Well, actually, yeah, last night, concert started at 5.30. Uh, Hardy performed the first couple hours, and then Morgan Wallen the last couple hours. Tonight, you know, kind of the same story. Hardy goes first for the first couple hours, and then it was going to be Morgan Wallen's turn a couple hours later. Well, once again, I'm not there in person. I don't know everything that happened. This is just what I've been kind of seeing on Facebook and Twitter and all over social media. But then around, I think it was around 8.45, 9 o'clock, around that time somewhere, there's a post on, I think it was on Instagram, uh, might have been on Twitter, not too sure, some of y'all know better than I do, but I think it was on Instagram. But anyway, he makes a post, talking about, talking about Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallen makes a post on this story, and I don't have the exact quote here in front of me, um, but pretty much said, fans, apologize, uh, I'm sick, and... I've lost my voice, and I am unable to perform tonight's concert. And he did, you know, he did say that, hey, uh, you know, I'll give a refund to everybody that came to the concert tonight. Once again, truly, you know, truly apologize. And that's not the exact quote, but you, got, I mean, you guys kind of have a good idea of what I'm kind of saying. And then also, you know, kind of around that same time, and this concert is at the football stadium. So at the football stadium. You know, there's jumbotrons, and you have all these, you know, big screens. So then around that time, the message pops up on the screen. And the message, you know, kind of pretty similar to the post on social media. You know, Morgan Wallen has lost his voice, uh, can't perform tonight's concert, apologizes, all the fans, you know, all the fans will get a refund. Well, whew, let, me, whew, let me just say... There is a bunch of people mad right now. Mad at Morgan Wallen. I don't know if you guys have seen Facebook or Twitter or you know any social media or if you talk to your friends or family or anybody that went. But right now, you got a whole, whole lot of people mad at him right now. I'm talking about the whole entire town of Oxford and all these people that drove hours away. And you know, this, this is the thing about these major concerts. And of course, Morgan Wallen, famous singer. I know a lot of people in the South know who he is. Really nationwide. Hardy, same way. You know, famous singer, bunch of people know who Hardy is as well, too. And, you know, these bedtime concerts, here's the thing, man. 
Now, yes, most of the people that concert, most of these people are locals. Most of the people, you know, most of them, once again, most of them, most of them drive within an hour or two. Most of them live, you know, kind of semi close to Oxford. But still, you have a lot of these people, a lot of them, a lot of them still are driving several hours away to this concert. Now, once again, this weekend, you have LSU in town for baseball. There's a bunch of those LSU fans that came for the baseball series this whole entire weekend that also came for this concert. And LSU, it's not a close drive. Uh, Baton Rouge to Oxford is probably, I'm just kind of guessing here, I'm just kind of guessing probably around seven hours. And I mean, you have to remember, those LSU fans, some of them's in Baton Rouge, some of them, you know, some of them's in New Orleans. Um, some of those LSU fans might have drove eight or nine hours to Oxford this weekend. And of course, you know, there's people that drove from, you know, probably, you know, Georgia and Florida and Kentucky and Texas. And I mean, there, there's people this weekend that drove 10 plus hours for this concert. 10 plus hours. There was even people who flew in. You know, some people that live pretty far away, you know, paid several hundred dollars for an airplane ticket. Coming to see Morgan Wallen for two days. And, you know, here's the thing as well, too. Now, in Oxford, uh, you know, Oxford is not your biggest town. It, it's kind of a small college town if you've never been to Oxford before. But anyway, this weekend, you got tons of people, you know, renting their houses out, their condos, and there, there are people paying money for it. There is people, you know, several people, several people this weekend renting houses, you know, Friday through Sunday, Friday through Monday, bunch of people renting out houses for three or four days. Their people probably came for five days, probably. I mean, there's probably been people here since Thursday, probably. You know, save for hotels. There's people that pay several hundred dollars a night for a hotel for three or four, five nights in a row. Airplane tickets, that's not cheap. Staying at a hotel for three or four, five nights. Condo. It's, it's not cheap, man. These, these days ain't nothing cheap. And these people, you know, that drove here. You got to pay for the hotel. You got to pay for the gas. Pay for all this food. I mean, pay for all the tickets. I mean, this weekend, you got several, several thousands of fans spending several thousand dollars this weekend. Now, if, if Morgan Wallen canceled both nights, oh my goodness, that would be even even crazier. But but th I guess this is kind of my reaction. Well, I mean, let me say this right quick as well, too. Now, yeah, this is kind of going back to the condos, but man, you, I mean, yeah, you got... Man, <laughs> I, I've heard of stories of people paying $1,000 for these condos this week. I think I've heard some maybe in the 2000 range for five days. I mean, it's, it's like going to Florida for a week. Them condos in Florida for a whole entire week. I mean, you guys know how it is. <laughs> it's, you don't spend a couple thousand dollars on a condo. It, it ain't cheap. But man, whew, man, you got people so, so mad right now. But but anyway, this is this is my reaction to Morgan Wallen canceling the concert tonight. So, yes, uh, I understand you lost your voice. And, of course, whenever you sing for several hours and you perform all the time, stuff like that, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Like it or not, it is what it is. But, but to me, this is where Morgan Wallen messed up. Brother, I mean, once again, you have to remember... You got people driving to see you every day, every weekend. People want to come watch you perform. You got, once again, you got people driving hours and hours away to come watch you. If you don't catch the concert, man, brother, you should have said something back at, you know, back at watch time. Back at 12 o'clock, you should have said something back at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Dude, come on, man. You don't, you don't announce at 9 o'clock. During the concert, brother, you just don't announce at 9 o'clock that, hey, you're going to cancel the concert now, and, hey, guys, it's over. Y'all go home. I'm just going to say it. Morgan Wallen, 
I know you're a Tennessee fan, but brother, you, you did us wrong, man. I mean, I mean, I, I will say, you know, good good thing you're doing a refund, you know, for the tickets. But still, you got once again, you got all these people that paid several thousand of dollars this weekend for the hotel, condo, food, gas, tickets, all this stuff. A lot of people, once again, a lot of people came for the baseball games this weekend. A bunch of people came for all three baseball games. And, you know, talking about parking. So parking this weekend, well, for, first of all, just to find a parking spot on campus was hard enough. You got people parking miles and miles away just to come walk to the football stadium. But still... Several places on campus this weekend, and Ole Miss, the way Ole Miss handled it this weekend, we treated this like a football weekend was the way they worded it. So on campus, every time on campus, you got to have a parking pass. That is Ole Miss rules. That is, that's just how we do it for football. And then parking passes, you Ole Miss fans know the parking passes, uh, the, the cheapest, about 40 bucks. 40, 50 bucks is kind of the cheapest. Uh, there are some areas in the hundreds for parking. It's it's ridiculous how much parking costs these days for Ole Miss football. But anyway, but yeah, I mean you got, I mean there's people that's you know people that pay a hundred plus dollars for parking the whole entire weekend. Them tickets for each game, you know the tickets are you know, it's like twenty plus. That's just general mission. I mean there's people you know you know sitting the. The nice seats, the fancy seats, sitting with the rich people paying hundreds of dollars per ticket. You know, right there, first row on the field, or those, you know, the suites, as you, if you want to call it that. But, but man, you, you got, I mean, you got some people this weekend. And once again, why these, why these people don't come solo? A lot of these people are, you know, people are, you know, f you know, friends of two or families of four or five. I've seen groups of, 10 and 20 come this weekend. There, there was people this weekend that spent, you know, as a family or as a group, people that spent $5,000, $10,000 plus, yeah, just on three days. I know it sounds crazy ridiculous spending that much money in three days, but but people did it. But, whoo, oh my goodness. You got so many people mad right now. I'm, I'm just going to stay quiet. I'm just going to hush. I'm going to end this video. Uh, love to hear y'all's reaction to this as well, too. Um, if you're an Ole Miss fan or someone that drove several hours away at this concert, whoever you are, however you found this video, love to hear y'all's thoughts on this as well, too. But that is all I have for the video. I'll see y'all next video. Have a good one, peeps.